Capricorn, welcome to your August general tarot reading. This is your girl, Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Capricorn. This is a general reading, so please keep that in mind. To only take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear this message. So my intentions for this reading, Capricorn, is to channel and provide messages from Spirit to you about August, what is happening, unfolding, what do you need to be aware of, what does Spirit want to show to you, and if anything has happened, why has it happened? This can impact any aspect of your life, love and romance, career and finances, spiritual evolution, but whatever Spirit would like to talk about shall be said. So if you have any beings of the light that you would like to welcome into this space, specific angels, ancestors, spirit guides, maybe even passed down loved ones, you are welcome to ask them to join us here now. All right, Capricorn, let's go ahead and get this reading started. I'm first going to use my sound bowl to clear and set the energy for you guys. So let's go ahead and take a deep breath in. And tune into the energy of Capricorn. All right, Capricorn, let's go ahead and see what Spirit wants to talk to you about in regards to August, what is happening, unfolding, anything that you need to know, anything that has happened, why has it happened, so we can give you that clarity, insight, healing, and guidance. So, dead center, this, this is two of wands. This is Aries energy. You could have strong Aries in your chart. You could be dealing with an Aries romantically, platonically. There's something Spirit wants you to go for. Spirit says it's now the time to start acting, this time to start preparing. There's something you really want, Capricorn, and it can be yours. I do feel maybe the opportunity is going to present itself to you in order to get it. Ooh, Knight of Cups. Crossing this. This is Pisces energy. I'm going to get all the cards out first, and then we're going to do a deep dive. But this feels very positive, Capricorn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I know no one's BS is going to bother you at this point. People try to come into your space, Capricorn. Some people demand your attention or demand to be seen by you. You don't need any of that anymore. Okay. <laughs> you have yourself and that's a self-dependence. That's a self-trust. And maybe there's people trying to persuade you some way to kind of make you not feel like you're ready for it. Ready for this move. Ready for this change. There's jealous energy of you that, around you that you are like cutting, period. Bottom of the deck, nine of pentacles, Virgo energy. So what I feel with this nine of pentacles, this is what's to come. What's forming and happening is your self-independence. Some of you guys are making moves financially that are going to be successful. Whatever it is you feel like you want to change, pursue, you'll be set. You have what it takes. You have the resources to make it happen. This could be your own business. This could be something that you're doing for yourself, like buying your own home, buying your own car. This is something you worked very hard for, for yourself. You put the blood, sweat, and tears into making it happen. No one else did. Therefore, the rewards are only going to be yours. And that's why I felt like a pull around you, Capricorn, with this Five of Swords in reverse, rooting this. Some people are going to try to take credit. Some people are going to try to get your attention back, seeing that you're glowing, seeing that you're doing well. But that's nothing to pay attention to. You're on your road to your success. Sure, some people may come in to help, but you'll know who's there to help and who's there to just, I don't know, be along for the ride and not really put the effort in you're putting in. So I do feel, Capricorn, that your success is promised through what you're deciding to do in August through what you're feeling passionate about to pursue. This Nine of Pentacles is telling me, if you need a confirmation, if you need a thumbs up, here it is. 
It will happen for you. It will be successful for you. Some of you could be wearing yellow right now. Yellow is your favorite color. I'm even seeing yellow bed sheets for someone here. But let's go ahead and dive right on in. Dead center is the two of wands, Aries energy. Things are happening. You're choosing to start pursuing something here, and it's the right choice. Spirit doesn't want you to feel stuck anymore, uncertain, especially if it's only because of what someone's trying to tell you to do, warning you to do, just to keep you stuck somewhere where you're not happy in anymore, Capricorn. Or even if you see your life going to the next level, your career going to the next level. There's someone who doesn't want you to believe that because they want you to get stay stuck with them. So this is you pursuing a new path. This is you being open to a new opportunity that you feel passionate for, excited for. And you should stick to that passion. You should stick to that excitement. Now what's crossing this is the Knight of Cups. Pisces energy. So this may be hard for you to pursue because maybe you're just going off of your feelings, which I said this for Virgo's reading and I'm going to say it for your reading, but that's just not how earth signs go about things. And I have earth dominant in my chart, so I'm a water sign, but I have a lot of earth and I definitely am someone who's not super ready to jump into the unknown. I have to have all the evidence in front of me make sure that everything is according to plan. But this is something where spirit is asking you, Capricorn, to jump in without knowing. But you feel it's right. You feel the positive energy around it. This is something you daydreamed about, fantasized about, making happen for you. And through what you're feeling about this, spirit wants to reiterate, you can trust your feelings. You can trust your desires and wants for this to happen. Now, others of you, um, there is someone who has a crush on you. There is someone that is has fallen for you, is starting to develop very serious feelings here with the King of Cups energy, which we'll get to in a second. I do feel this is someone who may be supporting you in your move or supporting you in making the moves that you want to make. They want to see you succeed, Capricorn. They're very supportive. They're very loving. This is someone who's emotionally available. And I do feel that if they've been kind of sidestepping, there's something about this month that's making them actively get you off the market, Capricorn. This person could be blonde, has blonde hair. Doesn't have to be the case. What's crowning this is the Three of Wands. Aries energy. So it's almost as if spirit is trying to set everything up for you. You keep getting those ads for a new home coming in. You keep on seeing the signs that are confirming something that you've always felt, felt like you wanted to do. I do feel, Capricorn, that you're already starting to see if you have made the choice to pursue a new path, to pursue something that you want to bring into your life the positivity around it. If it's something that you're starting to build as some sort of business or some sort of upgrade in your business, people are seeing your talent. People are seeing your skill. There's, with this Three of Wands crowning this reading, I do feel that if you've been doing some research, you've been finding very positive reviews around a certain situation, around a certain choice that you want to make. I do feel with this three of wands as well, good things are starting to happen in your life by being more positive, by pursuing things that you've held back on just because you didn't know if you were ready for it or didn't feel prepared, by taking more chances that you feel are right to take. It's showing the positive effects already, Capricorn. I kind of want to clarify this Three of Wands. How is this going to be shown? What is really being shown here? Tell me more about this Three of Wands for Capricorn. <gasps> Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Wands. 
So for some of you, what you're doing, what you're looking to do in your life, whether that's some sort of career, maybe, um, again, I feel the sense of new home, it's competitive. But with the Queen of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, you're naturally talented. You're naturally gifted and you do it kind of effortlessly. And that is the kind of je ne sais quoi that is going to make this happen for you, Capricorn. Now, with romance that I feel for a lot of you, this is in regards to. There's someone that feels competitive for you, that feels like they have to put their best foot forward for you. With this Queen of Cups, you're someone that they see as being their match. Well, let me point out, we have the King and the Queen of Cups here. So there's definitely someone that you two are cut from the same cloth. You guys may have psychic gifts, spirituality is important to you. You connect in an emotional, psychic level that's hard to describe. But I do feel with this Three of Wands, like someone is really seeing that this connection with you, Capricorn, can be long-term, can be a reality. There is someone who may even daydream about being with you on an exclusive level. Maybe even for some of you guys, they daydream about marrying you, okay? There's something about your eyes they find very attractive, very dreamy. I wonder if some of you have like a water rising, Cancer Scorpio Pisces rising. But yeah, I do feel like despite some of the challenges that may come up with this stuff, be maybe small or insignificant to the grand scheme of things, it shouldn't stop you from still pursuing whatever it is you feel very strongly about Capricorn. I definitely see whatever this is could give you a long-term payout for sure with the Ten of Pentacles. A huge upgrade financially for you. But what's reading this is the Five of Swords in reverse. Aquarius energy. Two fives are here. Your birthday could be January 5th, January 15th, perhaps December 25th for some of you guys here. But yeah, I mean... I do feel just the judgments of people is what has stopped you before. Maybe you're living a different life than what people can understand. You're making certain moves that for some people would seem impossible for them to do. But they try to project that onto you and then it messes with your mind. It doesn't need to mess with your mind anymore, Capricorn. And that's what I feel you're becoming very aware of. Or even the things that people tell you, are they even relevant to you? Are they even something that helps you because some of the things people put in your ear again like whether they consciously do this or they don't they're not aware of it it's their own negativity that they're trying to keep you in whether it's toxic energy i feel for some of you this is family with this five of swords in reverse but spirit wants you to be very clear about people's intentions, why they're saying these things to you, especially if they're negative. And to kind of move past that, beyond that, and see the truth for that of what it is. That really has nothing to do with you. And if you make your decision and people are starting to, you know, get their feathers ruffled through it or whatnot, like, let them be angry. It's not their life to live. This is your choice and your decision, Capricorn. And even if they do have the best interest out for you, they're not seeing the grand scheme of things with this Ten of Pentacles here, okay? In the recent past, we have the King of Cups, Scorpio energy. So I do feel if this is an energy around you, someone has fallen in love with you, feels very strongly about you, feels like they want to make something happen with you, wants to be yours, ready to be yours, prepared to be yours with this King of Cups. They write very romantic text messages, sensual text messages. They whisper things to you when they're with you, only you can hear. But they're genuine, they're authentic. Now, if this is you, Capricorn, on the non-romantic level, yeah, I do feel as if you've been emotionally preparing for this time in August to come. Spiritually preparing for it. 
I do feel as if you feel more certain about yourself and about your decisions now than you have before. And I do feel even through this King of Cups, there could be an energy that's like a guardian angel or a something of that energy type that you work with that works with you very closely. Maybe a passed down loved one that watches over you that has sent you a confirmation about this move. Or maybe even some of you guys have like a spiritually gifted friend who has confirmed for you that this is the right path for you to go down. And they're certain of it. Definitely. What you need to know, Capricorn, is the Two of Swords. Libra energy. Your mind is the only thing that blocks this. Especially if you're holding on to what people have said about you in the past, what people try to project onto you in the present, warn you about in the future. It's blocking your mind. And it's like your mind is the last thing about you. Your heart's in it, your soul's in it, but now you have to convince yourself mentally that this is worth it. Now you could be seeing 222 a lot from the universe as confirmation 22. Your birthday could be January 2nd, January 12th, December 22nd for some of you guys. But once your mind is made up, once you're really all in this with every piece of you that you have, you'll start to see it all unfold before your very eyes in small ways baby steps, but steps nonetheless to get you to the Ten of Pentacles that you feel is already coming with the Three of Wands. All right, let's pull some more cards. Tell me more for Capricorn Spirit. Healer of the Ages. Okay. So, yeah, I wonder if this is the King of Cups in your past that this person being with them feels so healing for you. Feels as if they understand a part of you that no one else really gets. They, you feel bound or tied to them spiritually, telepathically, soulfully in a way. Now Capricorn, I gotta say, you're the person of this time and this generation of a long line of ancestors that came before you that is meant to make a change in the patterns of what your ancestors have done. We can definitely see that with the Ten of Pentacles of what your family continues to be in currently. You're meant to outgrow that. And I do feel you guys have healing gifts. You guys do have the sense of discerning certain energies around you. Maybe it's taken some time to trust it, but you have that gift nonetheless. Now, some of you work with Jesus very closely. You don't have to be a Christian to work with Jesus. If you are, great. But even if you're not, I feel almost as if Jesus is like an ascended master to me. Jesus definitely was like the original empath that was meant to bring light into a very dark time of human history. And if you have been working with Jesus, praying to Jesus, Jesus wants to let you know that he's with you. Very much so. And that you have like a similar story to Jesus, I guess. Not exactly the same, obviously. But setting out on your own, doing something that is so new, that may shock people, people don't un understand. But you know why you're chosen for this path or why it's meant to happen now. And I do want to say too, that the path you're choosing to go down is going to upgrade your life, is going to heal any problems that still may kind of circulate in your life, especially mentally. It's going to give you some sort of mental peace by making this decision. But you have to take the first step, Capricorn. And if you are doing Reiki, I do feel it's making a huge change in your life. Energetically, you feel it very strongly. Tell me more for Capricorn. Empowerment, grounded strength and stamina with number 13. You're empowering yourself to place this in your hands. To not put this in anyone else's hands or to give anyone that power to make you decide something you don't want to do. You no longer want to be a part of what you want to change, what you want to take action towards. Some of you could be born near the horse in Chinese astrology or horse symbology has been very relevant to you at this time. 
But Spirit is saying, you know the truth, Capricorn, and you're ready now to make these moves. We have given you this insight, this clarity, so you can start taking the steps. Believe it. Tell me more for Capricorn. Okay, then we have Lakshmi. Yeah, prosperity. Lakshmi is the uh, Hindu goddess of prosperity, abundance. And look, Lakshmi depicted here with her soulmate. So I definitely see both, um, both instances here definitely working in your favor, whether this has to do with the change of your life a uh, change in your finances, a change in your career, or even with the soulmate. I have to say, this soulmate is going to stick it out with you, Capricorn. You'll know if this is your soulmate, if they're there for you, giving you the support you need. will be with you every step of the way in making this happen. Giving you that uplift, giving you that inspiration. But Lakshmi is here to just bless you, Capricorn. Reassure you that this choice you want to make that feels so good, feels so right, again, with the Nine of Pentacles, will give you some sort of payout, some sort of increase in your finances, increase in your stability. That you don't need to block yourself from anymore, that you don't need to deny anymore. Let the abundance start pouring in. Wow. All right, Capricorn. Let's go ahead and get one more card for you guys. Bobcat Spirit. Life is a mystery with number eight. Bottom of the deck, we have Crow Spirit. Co-create with Spirit. So both of these add up to eights. Okay, 17 breaks down to an eight. Here's an eight, right? <laughs> so I definitely have to say some of these insights or this push may have come around the Lionsgate portal that has recently opened on August 8th. Something big happened around then. But I do feel for a lot of you guys with this Bobcat, yeah, Spirit just wants to say for those of you that still are waiting to make this move because it you don't know if it's going to be right. You don't know the outcome. We truly never know how a situation is going to end up, right? That's part of the mystery. That's part of the journey. We can consult a million psychics. We can consult a million cards. But sometimes there's always going to be that unknown in our life. But is that unknown meant to be scary? Is that unknown meant to be something that keeps you away from taking a chance? Absolutely not. And I do feel even what isn't being shown to you now, maybe just not is not the right time yet. But maybe it won't even be revealed to you until you'd make that move and take that chance. So there has to be some sort of trust with spirit, trust with God at this time, Capricorn, in order for this to turn out to be the most in your favor. Bottom of the deck, crow spirit. Yeah, spirit wants to co-create with you. Spirit has been sending you the confirmations leading you to this reading, sending you the signs. That you have the power to co-create. You have the power to manifest. And if you keep positive, stay positive, focus on the positive, the positive will come. It's whatever you want to create, Capricorn, and the foundation and the energy that you're creating it in. Magic is happening in your life, Capricorn. You just need to trust it and take the first step to go into it. Thank you so, so much, Capricorn, for joining me for this reading. I really hope it resonated with you. I hope it provided you with the confirmation, clarity, insight, healing, guidance in regards to whatever is happening in your life in August. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Capricorn, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Capricorn.